Hi guys, welcome Hi back to my channel. My name is Harriet, or most people call me Haz, and this is my boyfriend Mickey. I'm currently sitting in my pajamas. You're kind of in your pajamas as well, <laughs> just because <coughs> we've just had dinner, and I thought we'll do this like challenge after dinner because we've as you just can had see, dinner, and now we're gonna have dinner again, dinner. I guess. Dinner and dessert. <laughs> but um, what I'm gonna the dogs are scraping out the door because they can smell food. They're like, give me food. So this video, what we're going to do today is we're going to be testing out some of the top Christmas foods. Well, I think personally these are my top Christmas foods, like mince pies, we've got Christmas puddings, we've got custard, we've got blue stilton, and then we also have good old Yorkies, Yorkshire puddings. But I do want to say that this actually, this video I did was actually my cousin's, and it was meant to be recording it with her. But we couldn't end up doing it and I had to do it with Mickey in the end just because if not the food was going to go off. But I think Mickey's actually really happy about that. I just want to get on with it. <laughs> I just want to get on with it. He just wants to like eat everything. So the idea of this video is me and Mickey are going to be trying like Tesco's extra, what is it? Tesco's extra finest against like their Tesco's like everyday brand. Just because we're thinking like, you know, do they actually taste any different? Because obviously you pay a little bit more for like Tesco finest. So we're gonna like give each like one a go. So we're gonna be trying like two of everything. So I'm so excited about that. So um, let's get on with this video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with obviously the mains, then we'll go on to dessert. So we're gonna start off with Yorkshire pudding. So these are the Tesco ones. Their normal brand, and then we have Tesco at finest. Obviously, this one does look a bit more fancy, and I can definitely tell the difference already. Yes, like no, this know. is Tesco's finest. They're proper big, and then look at the Tesco's everyday brand. It's just really tiny. It's really tiny and small. But do they taste any different? So, yeah. what one are we going to try? Should we going to go for like the cheap one first? Then we'll go for the more expensive. We do have water here to like cleanse the palate, so. Oh, you're just, I'm just biting right, I'm going right in. Mm. I like them because they're really chewy. I don't like them when they're too crispy because then they're just like, kind of, I feel like they taste kind of burnt. Okay. I'm going to taste a bit of water first because I don't want to ruin my judgment. Okay. Mmm. This one's proper like doughy as well, but I would say this one seems a bit more like battery. Is that the word? Like that seems more like there's more batter, like wet batter in it. I'm not oh, gonna end up eating too much here. I don't think they taste any different. I, don't think there's a lot I just of think to be honest, it's just like the size of it. And this one looks a bit more obviously um what would you call it? A bit more blown up? What's the word? A bit more risen Bigger. than this one. I think personally they taste the same. I just think they're both pretty much the same. I think they're both the same. So I think these look nicer, but yeah. I don't think they taste a great deal different. Yeah. Let's have a last bit. <laughs> Finish it off. They're nice. Now we're going on to Blue Stilton, the smelly cheese. So we have Tesco's finest head. I would say, you probably think, um, where is the cheese? Well, um, Mickey kind of opened it a couple of days ago and didn't realise it was actually for a video. Luckily, there's two little bits left. And then we have like the normal kind of Tesco brand, um, Blue Stilton. Gonna go for the, the cheap one again. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to try custard after this. It's gonna taste disgusting. Mm, we love our Blue Stilton. Like, we're all about the moldy cheese. Like, comment down below if we love moldy cheese. It stinks. Oh, it tastes lovely, but what is it about it? Just that uh, we know it's mouldy, but obviously it's good mould for you. But I just love it. I think it tastes so good. Okay. I just, I think that tastes, tastes I think nice. it tastes nice. I think it tastes like good old Stilton. Now we've got the aged <laughs> blue Stilton. We really did eat a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Pro, this one's proper stinks. Okay. This one's more creamy. Mm. Like the texture, that's more crumbly and hard. This one's more soft and gooey. I definitely prefer the cheaper one. I think is I that the cheaper one? Yeah, I think I prefer the cheaper one just because yeah. I feel like it's got more flavour. This bit, one... It's got a bit of a sharp twang to it as well. Yeah, to be honest, I think this has like a texture like brie, which you don't you no. don't like brie, do you? I would definitely go for the cheaper one. Mm, that's so good. I want to try something. On TV the other day, they said if you eat smelly cheese without smelling it, you can't taste it. Really? Okay, I'm going to give it a go. 
My mouth already tastes of cheese now. <laughs> you listen to my voice. I can't taste it. I don't get as much taste here. That's weird. I can't taste anything at all, even though I've already had a little bit. That's so weird. Take a plumble, please. What, you want to try it again? Let's try this again. For any hard to breathe now, I'm not eating at the same time. You can't time. taste it. Oh, I, oh no, I just realised I'm going to rub all my foundation off. <laughs> No, you definitely can't taste it. No. Guys, you should try that at home try that. and see like if that works for you. Like apparently if you hold your nose while you eat something, you can't taste it. Chew it with your holding your nose and you and then let your your nose go halfway through. The taste comes back immediately. Yeah, it's so weird. Very strange. Okay, moving on. This is gonna taste so disgusting now. I think I definitely need mm. some water. So we're now gonna try Tesco's finest custard. This was from the chilled section. So I always feel like when it's definitely in the chilled section, it's more definitely like luxury. This one's meant to have like like a vanilla flavouring, and you can see like the like little bits of vanilla pods in it. And then we just have the normal Tesco's custard. Should we go for the cheap first? Let's go for the cheap. I had to heat this up for Mickey because he doesn't like it cold. Oh, see, I don't like the skin. <laughs> oh, I don't like the skin either. I think it looks gross. I'd eat that. That's nice. Mm, oh. <laughs> What's icing on that? Oh, that's so good. It's quite runny though, isn't it? I, ugh. I do like my custard to be a little bit thick. Okay, so this is the this, this Tesco is... finest one. Bring this over. It's definitely, I think, a lot more thicker. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's good. It's more vanilla-y. To be honest, that is good. This does taste nice, but I think I like the cheaper brand because I feel like that tastes more like custard. Like this obviously has kind of got like vanilla in it. That is nice, but I just feel like this no, that tastes that. This just tastes like good old custard though. No, I think I like this. I think it's just because I'm used to being like brought up on cheap custard. I would eat both, but that is really nice and rich yeah. and creamy. That is nice. I'll let me try some more of that. Yeah. <laughs> I would go for the cheaper one. I just think the cheaper one tastes like custard if, if to me. If either of those are my put enough, I'd be happy. Which one would you prefer though? Which one do you think you would buy? The expensive that, one or the cheap one? I thought I'd go for the cheap one because it's so much more expensive. But that's all right, it's nice enough. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, going on to the best, the, even the best bit. The best, 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 best bit. So I didn't bother buying like a massive big old Christmas pudding just because like, you know, there's only two of us. So I bought like these little mini ones, they're so cute. These are like Christmas puddings for one. So this is the Tesco finest one. The packaging is actually really nice. This is a 12 month matured Christmas pudding with what, how do you say that? Cognac and? Cognac. No, I can, I can say Convoisier. that. Convoisier. Convoisier. Oh, right. Infused with cider and sherry and ruby port wow. and then the tesco everyday one is just a christmas pudding matured for six months wow. steeped in cider and brandy moist fruity and sticky pudding and this is the packaging oh, that that oh this one looks proper like fruity in that compared to that one. this looks like it's got more like bits of like giant fruit in and nuts. Stop talking, okay. let's try <laughs> he's, he's so looking forward to trying these oh you gotta try the cheap one first Get a good dollop of that, Mickey. Oh, my stomach's rumbling, I don't know why. Mm. Not um, a lot of flavour to it. No. Just kind of tastes like Christmas pudding, but it doesn't have like that really nice like alcohol taste. Cool, there's some big cherries and stuff in this one. Oh, and loads of nuts. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's strong. As soon as I put it in my mouth, I can really taste all the alcohol. Yeah, oh. you can as well. Yeah, I'll do that. That is good. Mm. No, you can taste everything in there. Yeah. This one is a bit bland. Yeah, as soon as I put that in my mouth, before I even like bit down on it, I could really taste the alcohol. That's actually quite a bit dry as well, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely that one. I, yeah, I definitely, if I was gonna buy a Christmas pudding from Tesco's, I would definitely say invest in a little bit more dough and get the Tesco finest one. But as you can see, Mickey's loving it. I thought you'd want some of that later on with the custard. That's for the video. Oh, it's all right. We can have some mince pies with the custard because the Christmas pudding's basically gone now. 
Okay, now we're gonna be trying the mince pies. So you get six mince pies from the normal Tesco range. These ones just say, butter and rich pastry filled with spiced mince meat made with sultanas, currants and raisins. And <laughs> These are the finest, but. Yeah, there's only two left. <laughs> we just love our food, but anything naughty around, we can't like, you know, resist. So the what it says on these boxes are that these are all butter pastry deep filled mince pies with cognac and what's that word again? Confossier. Con Confossier. Yeah. Right, there's a uh, oh. little bit of a problem here. Someone has obviously been eating the mince pies without me. Well, oh, me other than that, or someone's mixed it in Tesco's. I have it because. I can't have that. Yeah. Well, you came home the other day and said that your friend gave you at work mince pies. I was like, oh, I'll have one of them. So okay. she's, she's already steamed into the mince Already, pie. I feel like these ones, they look nicer. the Tesco finest ones look much more nicer. They definitely look more bigger, I feel like. They look bigger. And then these are the Tesco's like everyday kind of like, you know, brand. And it's got like a little star on. These definitely look like, look at this one. It looks proper bodged together. It's not even like on properly. So should we try the cheap ones? Yeah. Oh, he was going pickle, are they? Mm. Proper sugary. A lot of pastry. Yeah. I think you definitely get more pastry than filling. But I don't mind. I kind of like the pastry. I feel like if you have too much mince meat, then it tastes a bit too, like, sickly. Right. I think it just kind of tastes like cheap pastry. Doesn't taste any, like, you know, like. Not pastry, no filling. Luxury. Mmm. Okay. You can taste the butter as soon as you put these in your mouth. Oh, on the side of the box it says these ones have cherries, almonds, walnuts, citrus peel, festive spices. Mm. I feel like you do get more air than <clears throat> mince meat again, but... Now these are nicer. But the, the pastry tastes so much better. It's proper buttery. I would definitely buy these ones over the Tesco ones. Yep, definitely Tesco finest. So, I'm thinking, looking at what we love the most, we're one point for Tesco every day, another point for Tesco every day with the cheese, and then I would say, what would you think? Who won out of that? I think they're level. Well, they're both nice in their own way. Okay, so that tastes more like your normal standard custard. Yeah, so I'll say that one won then. And with Christmas pudding, Tesco finest one. And then with mince pies, Tesco finest one again. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you did like it. It was something a bit different. But I just wanted to like show you guys that sometimes, you know, the more expensive brands aren't necessarily like any better than the cheaper brands. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm dribbling here. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye.